Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. Welcome to Impost and thanks for joining me today. Well, today's video, it's about adding crispness to a crashing wave. And I could have called this video dynamic contrast for the win because this filter in On One Photo Raw just made the job very easy. Not just the look that the filter delivers, but also the blending options to make crafting it for a wave splash very, very easy. So let me show you how this went. So here is the image. I've done my basic edits over in Lightroom. I've brought this into Photo Raw as a plug-in on what effects specifically. And I want to add more power to capture lots of the detail that's happening in this really cool wave crash here. To really just get the uh, that essence of wave here. So over in the filters area, I'm going to add dynamic contrast. Now that already adds a really big pop before and after. And that's just huge. But the thing is, I don't want it everywhere. I want it to be with the wave. And the simplest way I've found to do this, instead of getting into masking straight away, is go into the blending options. This gear menu here, we have a variety of options, but apply to is fantastic. Say, so just give me the highlights because the water is the highlights and I can control how much or how little of those highlights. In this case, I want a little bit more of that range to be considered highlights. Now already take a look at that before and after. The water is getting the pop. The rocks are not because the rocks are shadow before and after. Compare that to all. Look at the rocks for all versus highlights. Just hovering over, we can see the difference. All highlights, all highlights. And that one change right there makes all the difference in the world. Now I still have my masking tools available and so there are a couple of places with highlights that I don't want to get extra crispness here so pop open our masking area and let's use uh, opacity of about half is good. Paint out to make a nice big brush and kind of like the back part of this wave here and kind of over in this corner I don't want as much of the, the crispness to be there so just I'm taking away about half of that and maybe I'll do another sweep through here because I don't want the aquas and the the highlights in this area to get that extra pop. I just want the wave crest. And so now if I press the O key, we can see this is what the mask looks like, right? And the darker areas mean less dynamic contrast. The white areas, it's getting full strength, but tempered with that blending option of applying to the highlights. So all of our you know, mid-tones and shadows, none of that has the dynamic contrast, just the wave crash. And then from here I can go do my finishing work, vignette, and anything else you want to do there. But that was the tip I wanted to share in this impost video. Dynamic contrast plus blending options. Target the highlights if you're doing something like you know whitewash or surf in my case. Really nice combination, very easy to do. And if you do have any type of masking cleanup to do, it's very lightweight. You don't have to be precise because you've already taken care of it with the blending options applying to just the tonal range you care about. That's it. Got any questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.